This is a project to add extendable LED lights to an IKEA storage system. This is part of an instructable and there's a link to it in the description. The bins in these shelves are great, but it's really hard to see into them, especially the ones on the bottom. What is needed is some LED lights. I use the 17 centimeter Cobb LED lights. They're marketed as daytime running lights for cars. They run at 12 volts. They're mounted on a bracket that slides in and out so that you can see down to the bottom bins. The brackets are made out of this aluminum angle. One side is at half an inch, the other is three quarters of an inch. Cut four pieces, 12 inches long. Remove any sharp edges, especially the corners. We will drill three holes, two for the bolts and one for the LED wire. The bolts are one inch in from the end and the LED wire hole is one and three quarters inch from the end. Starting the holes with a center punch is a good idea. Some of the holes might be rough. It's a good idea to file them down. This project uses quarter inch carriage bolts that are three inches long and nylon lock nuts. The smooth part of the carriage bolts will slide through the wood easier and the lock nuts will keep you from pulling the brackets out. You drill your holes on the half inch section of the angle. Make sure the bolt heads will sit flat Take your bracket to your shelf, hold it up, position it, drill one hole for a bolt, insert that bolt, and then measure and drill the other hole. Once you have one of them laid out, go ahead and finish the rest. Next we're going to bond the bolts to the brackets using an epoxy. Make sure your bolts are straight and per perpendicular to your bracket. When you take your brackets down, mark on the back a number that shows you which bracket goes with which shelf. The LEDs we're using have a white uh, double stick tape on them. You're going to want to darken that somehow so it's not so visible. I used a black sharpie and spray paint. Both worked well. Here you can see the LED inside with its aluminum backing, then the double stick tape, then the backing paper. Now that everything's painted, you can mount your LED. Find the center of the bracket. For these, it was about two and a half inches in on both sides, down. The LED attaches to the three quarter inch part of the angle and faces down. Make sure the LED is oriented so that the wire will go through the hole you drilled for it. There's a good chance that after you've epoxied your bolts to your bracket, they won't fit perfectly in the holes you cut for them. Make sure you use the right brackets with the right shelves and gently slide the bolts into the holes. If it's tight, use your drill and enlarge the holes until the bolts slide easily. Be careful with this step. If you force the bolts through the holes, they will break away from the epoxy on the bracket. Our project's going to need a switch. I use this 12 volt rocker switch with an LED in it. I used a piece of scrap 2x2, two two, took a spade bit, and drilled a hole from the top to the bottom that would hold the switch. You can't see it in the picture, but I also cut a little notch in the bottom so that the wires could come and go. To wire up the switch, I used spade connectors. This simple diagram shows you how I wired the switch and the power supply to the LEDs. When you splice your wires, make sure you use electrical tape and or heat shrink tube. You can use any wire. I used some wire that I got from some bulk ethernet cable. It was kind of stiff which made working with it actually a lot easier. I also cut pieces of plastic tube that I would use for wire management. Now let's make temporary connections and see if everything works together. Here you can see I used the pieces of the little plastic tubes. 
to hold the wire up against the top of the shelf. This way it doesn't drop into the bins and stays out of the way. It can also move freely which was useful when uh, doing the installation. On the back side of the unit I used hot glue to keep the wires out of sight and organized. I also hot glued the switch housing down to the top of the unit. One of the nice things about this project is when the lights are off you really can't see them. But when you turn them on it's a big improvement. It's so much easier to find things in all these bins.